<laughs> well, I know it's none of my business, but you two were having an awfully hard time identifying a very famous person. So I thought I'd put all three of us out of our misery. You were like, who's that guy in Spotlight? And you were like, Michael Keaton? And you were like, no, I know who Michael Keaton is. I'm talking about that swarthy guy who was in that lesbian movie with Annette Bening. Um, that movie's called The Kids Are All Right, and it was a nominee for Best Picture, so you might want to educate yourself. <laughs> then you were like, oh, didn't you replace Eric Bana as the Hulk? And honestly, love where your head's at, silver metal try, but no. He actually replaced Edward Norton as the Hulk. Edward Norton. Eric Bana did play the Hulk in a film set outside the confines of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, simply entitled Hulk, directed by Ang Lee, and was, by all accounts, a noble failure. <laughs> At this point in the conversation, I had become nearly insane. <laughs> so I decided to march over here and triumphantly and mercifully announce Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> Your patient has pulmonary tuberculosis. <laughs> Don't talk about your patients in a public park if you don't want feedback. <laughs> you're like, Mr. Horvath isn't getting better. And you're like, oh no, he's not responding to radiation. I don't understand. <laughs> yes, I do accents. <laughs> and then you were like, well, is it possible he doesn't even have lung cancer? And you were like, not a chance. So you saw the rengenogram. Um, any physician worth his doctorate knows that whole lung tuberculosis frequently presents abnormal rengenographic patterns and as such is often misdiagnosed as lung cancer. I mean, where did you go to medical school? Leeds. Ah! <laughs> so if I were you, I would take Mr. Horvath off of the radiation and onto anti-tuberculosis chemotherapy stat. <laughs> with your father. <laughs> now, I know that we don't know each other, I've never seen you in my life, but you were like, which honestly was not a ton to go on. <laughs> but from what I've been able to gather, he had a cold, detached parenting style, which set you on a path, which has led you here to a job, a dead-end job that you hate. It's why you haven't been able to take your relationship with Derek to the next level. He asks, ask him to move in. He will say yes, it will be great. You are perfect together. Aww. But what you don't know is that <laughs> your father suffered horrific emotional abuse at the hands of his parents. Aww. And he never told you that because he didn't want you to grow up hating Nana and Grandpa. <laughs> he was so scared he would do to you what they did to him. <laughs> kept you at an arm's length. Just please know that that arm's length was, was, was one of love. <laughs> and it's only once you forgive your father of the sin of humanity. <laughs> finally be able to chase away that looming specter of your yesterdays. <laughs> I should 
not have known that last one at all. <laughs>